Hi, I'm Natasha Schlesinger. I'm an art advisor and curator, and my company is Art Muse, and this is Freeze New York 2018. When I come to a fair like this, I'm doing two things. One, I'm looking for spe specific works for clients, and the other, I'm just looking to see what is the newest thing um, that the galleries might have. Maybe I'm following an artist that I like, and I want to see what is the brand new thing that he or she has created. So for me, it's like a preview and, and a sort of a, a smaller version of the art world. And that's what fairs are. The artist is Cecilia Vicuña. Right. Um, she's Chilean. She's 69 years old. And this is a kipu, and kipus were traditional Andean modes of communication. So it's knotted yarn, and when the Spanish um, conquistadors came to Chile, they eradicated the practice. And so now in contemporary society, we actually don't know exactly how to read them, but Cecilia really wanted to reintroduce the idea of the kipu into her practice, and so this is like a modern interpretation of that in an art historical context. These are metal and these are fabricated similar to what, you know, a small table and chairs would be. Uh, he wants them to feel casual, like it's something that you left out in your shed. This particular set is something that is to look like it's been rained on and rusted, you know, put off in the, in the playroom or in the garage. They're fully functioning. So they, they are articulated so that they all fold, the table folds. All these components are very important to the artist. He wants you to have the experience of that sound and, and when they click into place. This is something he thinks about a lot and did a lot of research to figure out how to make the mechanics of this. But he doesn't want you to be focused on sort of the details of his thoughts. He wants you just to experience it as a familiar object. So as two artists, in fact, how do they work as two? Who does what? Well, they never tell you who does what. And actually, one work is created by one of the brothers, and they never tell you if it's either Gert or Uwe. Right. They kind of play on this mysterious idea of having one brain or something, you know, because they're identical twins. Yeah. They, re they resemble each other very much. Yeah. So it's never, it's never a forehand job. The works are about architecture. So they're in dialogue with architecture. As you can see, they're very elegant. They are not touching the floor and they're almost like they're not hanging. They're sort of floating in space. So if they are together, they really are in conversation with each other. But even if you install them separately in a little corner, in front of a window, or uh, then they really speak to that space.